Hi guys, welcome to Rapturous House. My name is Tanya. I hope you all are doing absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Today's reading is going to be for Virgo. We're going to see what's the energy coming towards you guys for this spring. We're going to see what's the good stuff that's coming in for you guys this spring, okay? I do want to thank you all. I want to thank you all for all your likes, all your shares, all your subscribes. They're all so, so so greatly so greatly appreciate it if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel please do so that way you'll get notified anytime i upload any new video footages but also that way i'm able to tug on your energy okay guys please remember these are general readings only take what resonates leave everything else behind you'll definitely know if you would like a personal reading my website's information is down in the description below. That is the only way that you're able to obtain a personal reading. All right, we're going to get right into this. So I see you guys, you have some flowers. I do call them the angels. I call them the white light. I call on our spirit guides. Show us, show us what we need to see from our Virgos. Let's see. So I see we have butterflies in the spring. That's all about things blooming, things. It's pretty nice energy. That's some pretty nice energy here because it's all about coming out of the cocoon. That's all about blossoming. That's all about becoming one with yourself. That's some nice energy. Then we have here, we have this stethoscope. Okay. All right. This is you seeing. This is you truly, truly looking deeper. A lot of you guys, you could be scientists or you could be actually looking deeper into things this spring. We also have flowers. We have a vase with flowers here. That's a lot of blossoming, a lot of blooming, a lot of nature. And we also have peace here. See that? I know it's so small. So there's a lot of peace that's coming towards you guys this spring. We have the pendulant. That's money. We have something that we have an S here. So you could have somebody, somebody that their name starts with an S that's coming towards you this spring. We also have a B. So you have a B and an S. Hmm. We have a cat. A cat, I always find cats illustrate freedom. Freedom from constraints. Then we have keys. Some of you guys, you could be getting new keys to something. A new house, a new car. Oh, I like all this. And then we have a child. Some of you guys could be having a child. Or, or, or like getting a new leaf on life. Getting a new leaf on life. Hmm, I like that. Show me spirit. Show me what's the good stuff coming towards my Virgos this spring. Okay, that was instant. Three, two, one, jump. <laughs> you're going for it. I like that. I do like that. I see a lot of you guys, you're just going with it. You're going for it. Whatever it is that you want, you're just going for it. Jumping right on in, taking that leap. You're not scared. You're letting go of a lot of fear, a lot of insecurities, and you're just going for it. You guys, you're blossoming. You're, you're digging deep, d deep within yourself here. I do like that. Show me spirit. A sense of freedom. To be enlightened. Lighten up. A lot of you guys would be lighting, lighten up. Just kind of going with the flow. See, that's that energy that we've been, that I'm getting for you guys for springtime. It's like you're just, it's just a weight being lifted. And I feel like that weight that's being lifted is because things are going better for you guys. I feel like things will be going better for you guys. I feel like there's going to be a le there's going to be lesser financial financial strains. Some of you guys your career is going to be taking off or you're going to be starting something new, something that you actually want to partake in. There's there's a new passion. A lot of you guys you're getting you have this new leaf on life. So going into the springtime, it's like you're more grateful for the life that you have. You feel things are more sustainable. I do like that. There's more of a sense of freedom in your life. I am galactic starseed. 
blooming, double confirmation of blossoming. You're blooming into a beautiful, handsome individual. Your environment is transforming. Wow. Hmm. You contain the entire universe encoded within you. Huh, I do like that. So deep. It's so deep within you. It's like knowledge. A lot of you guys, you're on a, you, I see your spiritual journey. It's like it's gonna, you're going to reach some type of peak within your spiritual journey in the springtime. Getting out, enjoying nature, seeing things grow all around you. The activated alley. Mm, transforming. Synchronicity is a love letter from the universe across time and space. Being one with the universe, one with yourself. There's such a serene feeling that's coming in for you guys this spring. It says, see through the perfectly purple lens of your galactic destiny. And we also have this stethoscope here. You guys, you're seeing things. You're digging deeper. You're going deeper to see things, trying to understand. I feel like in the springtime, you're going to be trying to understand things better. Things I feel like you're going to have a lot more compassion. I feel like you're going to be more willing to take to take your time in dealing with situations, dealing with people. I feel like you're going to be more patient. I definitely feel like you're going to be more patient, but you're also going to feel more free. You're going to feel more free to do what it is that you want to go after your dreams. I feel like because there's a weight that's being lifted. I definitely get an energy of a weight being lifted. It says a light grows brighter only by lighting another. Wow. There's a light that's that's being lit in you. Springtime is going to be pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. I'm dealing with a Virgo that was born on August 29th. Your spirit guides are saying that you, you need to lighten up in the springtime. I'm dealing with a Virgo that was born on September 17th. Know that things will be blossoming for you this spring. I have a Virgo that was born on September 2nd. A light grows deep within yourself. There's going to be a weight lifted off of you. I'm dealing with a Virgo that was born on August 23rd. They're wanting you to see, to dig deeper. Dig deeper. It's like not judging a book by its cover. That's the energy that I'm getting. This is all about you taking your time, digging deeper. I'm also dealing with a Virgo that was born on August 24th. Pay attention to the signs and the synchronicities. From now until springtime, pay attention. You're getting spiritual downloads. You're getting a lot of spiritual downloads from the universe itself. Show me, spirit. Show me. Show me what's the good stuff coming towards my Virgos this spring. What's the good stuff coming towards my Virgos this spring? Whoa. You got a lot of stuff coming towards you this spring. <laughs> there's, a lot of one, there's a lot of things that want to jump out. Guys, thank you. Thank you for joining me. Sending you guys a lot of love. A lot of light. Patience. Peace. Serenity all of the above king of pentacles you're going to be working a lot virgo taurus capricorn energy that's you that's you abundant that's you steady steadfast going towards your goals your ambitions as that's like everything's going just the way that you want it to go show me spirit the emperor oof some aries energy some of you guys, you're becoming a boss. Some of you guys, you are a leader. People look up to you. Some of you guys, you've stepped into your power. You've stepped into your position, your position of authority. Some of you guys, you've become the head of your household or the head of your company. Whether you work for someone else or if you work for yourself. You're in a position of control, a position of authority. People are seeing, people see you. People look up to you. Show me spirit. Show me what's coming towards my Virgos this spring. Your wishes, the star. Hmm. 
Aquarius energy. That star flew out in the reverse. Show me the star. I feel like spirit is saying that for some of you guys, there's something that you want. You may want to be in the spotlight. You may want, there's something, there's something that you truly wished for, but I feel like your spirit guides are more so saying that it's, I feel like it's not about what you want when it, when this happens, because it's not saying that it's not going to happen. It's more so that everything happens for a reason. Show me the star. Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups is about walking away. Some of you guys will be walking away from your wishes. Some of you guys, you're going to be walking away from your dream job. Some of you guys are going to be walking away from your dream job this spring. I feel like you got a new wish. You got a new desire. There's something new that you want. Show me spirit. Seven of Cups, trying to make the best decision for yourself. You're going to have many options, many options. Show me the Seven of Cups, Spirit. Ace of Cups, Ace of Cups came out in the reverse. Because it's, it's whatever you're doing this spring, whatever you're doing for some of you guys this spring, you're going to be walking away from it because... And that's for some of you guys. It's not for everybody. Because at some point, it was a wish come true. At some point, it was something that you really and truly wanted. But I feel like some of you guys, you're disappointed in that decision. You're disappointed. It's like giving a feeling of it's not where you want to be anymore. It's not who you want to be with anymore. Ace of Cups came out in the reverse. The star came out in the reverse as well. And that's telling me that... Even though at one point in time you wanted it, strong Aquarius energy with the Ace of Cups in the reverse and the Seven of Cups, even at even though at one point in time it was something that you truly, truly wanted, it's just not giving for you anymore this spring. Show me spirit. But I ask for the good stuff. I ask for the good stuff. So it, there, there has to be a reason behind this. Show me spirit. What's the reason? My Virgos are going to be walking away from this. Eight of Cups. Eight of, I'm sorry, Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles is working, working really hard. Show me this Eight of Pentacles. Some of you guys could be working on something new. King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Energy. Some of you guys, you're going to feel like you're, you're going to feel like you're being overworked. Some of you guys, you're going to feel like you're, you're putting in way more. You're going to come to some type of conclusion that you're putting in all this effort and all this work into something but I just don't get your I don't get of your ownership I feel like it's is one of those things whereas you it's like giving an energy of you feeling like you deserve something better giving an energy of you just you of you feeling like you can put in all this effort all this work and do something for yourself. I feel like here with this King of Swords here and this Eight of Pentacles, it's like you're coming to this understanding that what do you want? Like, I feel like it's you finding yourself. I feel like it's you knowing your worth. It's not that you're scared to work. I feel like it's just you becoming more guarded with your skill sets becoming more guarded with the things that you invent are the things I feel like you're I feel like you're becoming more one with something that's very passionate you're becoming more one with something that you are bringing bringing to the table bringing into fruition five of cups what is this five of cups what is this five of cups spirit queen of wands Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. For some of you guys, you could be walking away from a relationship. You could definitely be walking away from a relationship. I see some sadness. I see some. Mm -hmm. There, yeah. Commitment. Seeking something higher. Taurus energy. Reacts. And I feel like. Bottom of the deck, the Three of Cups. All right, let's get into this. 
because this is all supposed to be the good stuff that is coming towards you. We see you doing well. But at some point, for some of you guys, the things that you wished for, it was like there's some type of blockage here to where as you walk away, but I feel like it's starting to, it goes from your work, your career, and then it goes into your love life. Like disappointment. Like you're disappointed in for some of you guys, you're disappointed in two aspects of your life and they're colliding with each other. It's giving such an energy of being unhappy at work and unhappy at home. You walking away from it because it's just not giving you that fulfillment. But I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're going to be getting some type of new opportunity. There's going to be some disappointment here though, but there's a higher purpose. There's definitely a higher purpose. For some of you guys, you're going to walk away from a career path you're going to walk away from a job and you're going to decide to go back to school or you're going to actually decide to become the teacher to teach other people i see you being confident but it's it's after a moment of sadness and sorrow there is some there's some deep regrets because i feel like for some of you guys you're walking away from something that you've invested a lot of time and energy into so this springtime i feel like you're going to be it's like knowing your worth going after what you want it's like shedding it's like shedding the things that you've been holding so tight to but at one point in time those things that you've been holding on to those things that you're going to be shedding you're going through a major blossoming blooming you're you're moving on to the next phase of your life that's the energy that I'm getting like you're moving on to the next phase of your life and you're going to be going through like a purging another shedding yeah it's like you're it's like you're doing a walkthrough it's like you're doing one last walkthrough taking things out that just no longer align with your spirituality no longer align with the path that you're on no longer align with your environment i'm definitely getting here in the springtime for a lot of you guys there's a lot of coming out of your cocoon there's a lot of you of your freedom i feel like it's lit it's like lighten your load taking a weight off releasing yourself from a weight for some of you guys it's going to be a job a career for some of you guys it's going to be a relationship and yes you're going to be sad you're going to be sad and you're going to be disappointed. It's not going to be an easy transition. It's definitely not going to be an easy transition, but I do see there being a higher purpose. I feel like you find, it's like you find, you get a new leaf on life. You find yourself. Something that you're going to be walking away from. You're finding yourself all over again. Because whatever this is you're walking away from, whether it's love or your wish fulfillment. Because you're going to walk away from it. And it's something that you've invested a lot of time. It's something that you actually truly mastered. But there's something within your soul. There's something within yourself. There's something within the universe. It's like getting downloads that you know it's time to, it's time to move on to the next phase. So I see for a lot of you guys in the springtime, you're going to be moving on to another phase of life. And I do see you guys celebrating. I see you guys celebrating. That you're going to be you're going to be very anxious. Very anxious because it's you starting all over again. But it's going to happen fast. Double confirmation is going to happen fast. Hmm going to take a lot of work a lot of work but there's but it's going to bring balance it's going to bring balance into your life you have to stay focused you have to stay focused for some of you guys it's going to leave you feeling a sense of being alone but i see divine intervention i see success i see victory for some of you guys, if you're walking away from a lover, I see a new love coming in, a new passionate love, a new honest love, a love that offers you a lot of communication. For some, for a lot of you guys, you're going to be entering into a whole new relationship this spring. 
with your soulmate, a divine counterpart, you're going to get justice. After a long battle with conflict, a long battle with just drama, I feel like this springtime, you're going to be able to move forward. I feel like a lot of you guys, you've been waiting. Still present moment, you're waiting. You're waiting for that divine intervention. You're waiting for that new relationship. And I feel like this springtime, the biggest part of you guys is you're going to be shedding. You're going to be shedding all that past pain, that past hurt, things that you've been kind of holding on to. Like I said, it's like getting one last walk through your life before something new comes in because you do have something new coming in and for us i see you being happy i see you holding on i see you holding on to this mm -hmm. the person that's coming in this person's going to help you heal that person's going to help you heal that person sees your value that person's going to see your value this new this new and a lot of you guys what's coming towards you this spring is you being a boss is people seeing your value you you definitely have people seeing your value of course there's going to be there's going to be trials there's going to be tribulations because there's going to be people it's it's the circle of life it's the circle of life there's going to be people that are going to be jealous there's going to be people that's going to be there's going to be conf, com, people are going to be conflicted they like you but it's like they don't know if they like you they love you or they hate you it's giving that kind of vibe but it's okay it's okay for some of you guys you're just going to be single living your best life mm -hmm. but your money's going to be nice your money's going to be nice i see you dating i do see you dating shining bright huh i see a lot of you guys i see some of you guys you're kind of scared of the new beginning you're scared of sh you're scared of shedding that old skin so when that comes towards you this spring, I see that you're kind of like a little standoffish because you're kind of scared of this, this new beginning. Because you're still thinking about things that did not work out for you in the past. You're still looking back. Your worthiness. For some of you guys, see, I see the Empress here. It's like things will be going so well for you, you're going to be scared of that. Because you're not used to getting this much like you're not used to getting this much success you're not used to getting this much abundance you're not used to getting this much attention you're not used to getting this much love so you're going to be fearful you're definitely going to be fearful of it some of you guys you're going to be like you're going to be causing chaos just for the heck of it because it feels uncomfortable to you mm-hmm some of you guys are going to start hiding your emotions. But you know what? The person that's coming towards you is going to see straight through you. This person is going to see straight through you. I see some of you guys getting married. This per The person that you're probably going to marry is going to be somebody that's a little bit younger than you. Getting strong Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Strong Scorpio. You're going to be getting married to this person. I see this Ten of Pentacles with the Ace of Swords. And the Nine of Cups is the perfect person for you perfect person for you and i see i see you guys you're going to be on a spiritual journey your spirituality is going to align with each other this person is good looking good looking and this person is going to fight for you this person is going to fight for the relationship for the connection itself this is all about your destiny this is all about your good karma this is when the will is turning in your favor for a lot of you guys this spring is actually going to be major things you know the weather starts to shift things start to bloom you know, it's going to be a beautiful season for you guys. I get that for a lot of you guys. There's going to be a little bit of fear here. There's going to be a little bit of fear. But I definitely get a good, some good energy. Some good energy. Mm-hmm. I see happiness. I see commitment. I see happiness and I see commitment. Mm, I still have some of you guys. You're going to be a little stubborn. You're going to be a little, a little stubborn. Not sure if you want to give. Mm-hmm. Show me spirit. What's your advice for my Virgos? What's your advice for my Virgos this spring? Whoa, that's a whole chapter. <laughs> that's a whole chapter. Show me spirit.
what's your advice? Watch and wait. Love is all around you. Oh, I feel like it's, this spring is going to be so nice. Like, I feel like it's going to be you coming out of your cocoon. It's like things are going to be growing, growing all around you. Your spirit guides are telling you to watch and wait. Watch and wait because as you're seeing this, you're probably like, whatever. You're probably like, whatever. But, you know, we ask spirit the good stuff. What's the good stuff? And your spirit guides are telling you, seahorse spirit, watch and wait. Watch and wait. See how the universe works for you. And it says love is all around you, nightingale spirit. For some of you guys, you're, you're waiting for that love. You're waiting for that love. And I feel like your spirit guides are wanting you to watch and wait because it's going to happen. And it's coming in. Hmm. I do love that. I love that energy for you guys. All right, my loves. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful work week. Until next time. Bye, guys.